There are almost 9 million species populating our Earth, so when you stop and think about it, of course a high percentage of them are going to be super weird looking. Some of those 9 million species, when you see them, will blow your mind. You won't believe they're real. Thankfully, the invention of the camera has allowed us to capture some of the weirder animals out there, proving they're not fake. If these creatures were not filmed, no one would believe it. Number 15. Elephant Shrew The elephant shrew, sometimes known as the Sangi, is a small insect-eating mammal from Africa, with some very distinctive features. They come from East Africa, the elephant shrews. Shrews yeah. come from quite a large range. First up, they can have a spectacular color to their coats, with a black to rufous fade that makes this little animal aesthetically pleasing as well as a master of camouflage. Next up is their long thin snout, which is an incredible tool for sniffing out insects and spiders. Once it has discovered its prey, it uses its tongue to flick the food into its mouth. Bigger prey like earthworms and centipedes are more of a mouthful and it has to turn its head and chew bits off like a dog with a bone. Not the best table manners, but the long tongue clears up any leftover bits of worm. In spite of being only a few inches long, usually between 4 and 12 inches, it has been recorded running at speeds of up to 18 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest small mammals. Due to its general shape, it has long been thought to be a kind of shrew, as its name suggests, but it was not until the 1990s it was discovered to be no relation, and in fact, is more closely related to elephants than shrews. So the name was at least half correct for this interesting little guy. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This truly odd photo, snapped by an explorer in Iceland, captures something deeply haunting. Looking down the water, he suddenly spotted something that looks like Abe Sapien from the Hellboy comics, albeit with horns casually waving at him. Utterly terrified, the explorer snapped a photograph and then made a break for it. To this date, he has no idea what this thing is. Some people think it's just a prankster, others say it's some kind of mystical creature. But what do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Goody Tarantula The Goody Sapphire Tarantula is a huge tarantula from southern India, measuring more than 6 inches in diameter. And as its name suggests, this tarantula has a spectacular sapphire blue color. What's more, this is arranged into a geometric pattern across its back, making this a truly unique looking tarantula. Got your hands. Even its Latin name, Picolotheria metallica, sounds pretty badass if you happen to be a fan of horror or metal. And it would be easy to imagine this beautiful yet terrifying beast in an Edgar Allan Poe story. Or indeed, in a Metallica video, living in a tiny area of forest only 100 kilometers square, this arachnid is considered critically endangered. As human disruption in this forest has devastated populations, they are venomous and use funnel webs to trap insects. Although there has never been a recorded human fatality from a goody bite, their venom is known to be extremely painful. Their iridescent coloration makes them a sought-after pet, but efforts are still required to protect this blue spider in the wild. Number 13. Araripi Mannequin This striking bird with a stark red, white, and black color scheme was only discovered in 1996. So the surprise and fascination of bird watches all over the world It lives in a small, humid area of forest which sits at the bottom of the Araripi Plateau. And this area has a very particular geographic formation caused by streams arising from nearby springs, which give water to it, and so support species which are entirely dependent on this single location, including the mannequin. Not surprisingly, clearing of large areas of this unique forest for cattle rearing and human habitation has led to the near extinction of the Araripi mannequin, almost before we ever knew it existed, with only 800 adults still in existence. The Brazilian government 
have launched an action plan aimed at protecting the bird, and a more general conservation effort to preserve the Araripi Plateau from human destruction. So there is some hope for this beautiful and extremely rare bird. Number 12. Spoon-Billed Sandpiper Compared to this next rare bird, the Araripi mannequin seems practically as common as the domestic pigeon. With just 100 individuals left in the wild, the spoon-billed sandpiper is a bird that looks like we will be saying goodbye very soon. And it's all the more tragic as this bird has a unique bill shaped like a spoon. It belongs to its own genus, and the bill gives it its own special technique for hunting the various invertebrates and berries that make up its diet. The spoon-billed sandpiper mainly resides on Russia's coastal tundra during breeding season, and then makes a long migratory journey along Russia's Pacific coast, past Japan and China, towards their winter feeding grounds in Southeast Asia. However, they have a stopover habitat on the Yellow Sea that has almost completely been destroyed in recent years by industrialization in China and South Korea, meaning there are now barely any refueling stops for the sandpipers on their 15,000-mile round-trip journey. Furthermore, traditional fishing techniques in Myanmar result in the capture and death of many sandpipers, which would not normally be a problem if enough were able to make their migration stop. The future looks bleak for this rare and unique bird. Number 11. Jamaican Rock Iguana These iguanas are in fact the island of Jamaica's largest native animal. They have blue to green dark skin with triangular stripes running along their backs. Once found over a large portion of Jamaica's southern coast, they are now restricted to a tiny outpost known as Hellshire Hills, which happens to be one of the world's most threatened ecosystems. A combination of human encroachment onto this unique area of natural wonder and the introduction of the invasive Indian mongoose led to the Jamaican iguana being declared extinct in the 1940s. Jamaican iguana struggles to maintain its last stand against forces beyond its control. However, sightings were reported in the 1970s, and now there is a population of around 200 individuals, although humans continue to destroy and build upon its habitat. Conservation efforts were scrambled in the 1990s, and the population has increased in spite of threats, so the hard work in Jamaica by those who want to protect the natural wildlife has paid off, although this iguana remains critically endangered. So more work is to be done until snapping a picture of one becomes an everyday occurrence. Number 10. Geometric Tortoise They might be slow to move, but to catch sight of one of these tortoises, you'll have to have incredible patience since only 2,000 to 3,000 are left alive in the world today. One of the most extraordinary species of tortoise in terms of its pattern, the geometric tortoise has, as its name suggests, a geometric pattern on its shell which is bright yellow and black, resembling a flower or rays of the sun. Measuring only 6 inches long, this is a small tortoise, and it lives in South Africa's Western Cape province. Even though the tortoises live in South Africa, we can still donate money to organizations. After dying out in Cape Town in the early 20th century, by the 1960s, the species was believed to be extinct. But in 1972, some survivors were discovered. As it is one of the rarest tortoises on Earth, conservation efforts have been focused on growing the small population into something more stable, and it is protected by international law. However, public support in South Africa for conservation efforts are very low, with most people preferring to turn the land into farms and industry. So overseas private companies have begun to investigate in wildlife ranching, which allows for preservation of natural reserves through private property run at a profit, and stops the issue denting government popularity. Number 9. Palmed Harlequin Frog The Harlequin Frog is a critically endangered amphibian with an amazing rainbow coloring across its body. Known as the Jewels of the Neotropics, it lives in the Neotropical region running from Costa Rica to Bolivia, with various species spread through the forest in this region. In some places, such as Panama, the toad is revered, and the golden harlequin toad is the national animal 
In Colombia, the toads, who can go on non-stop breeding sprees lasting weeks at a time, are perhaps unsurprisingly considered important fertility symbols by the indigenous people there. During the 1980s, an extremely contagious disease spread among the toads and caused many species to go extinct. Some, such as the palm harlequin toad, were long thought extinct, but survivors have recently been discovered, and it seems some of the toads have managed to adapt defenses against the deadly and mysterious illness. 37 species are believed extinct, and 80 of these 96 remaining are critically endangered, so hopefully these colorful amphibians can make a comeback. Number 8. Rollaway Monkey The Rollaway Monkey lives in the trees of Ghana's forests and is distinguished by its almost penguin-like black and white fur with a reddish-brown patch on its back. They are highly social and active during the day, living in groups of between 6 and 22 individuals. This troop will have leader males, who have a range of calls which instruct the others what to do, and they are particularly fond of grooming, keeping their distinctive long beards extra clean. They are endangered and only around 1,000 are left alive, with that number dropping every year. This is partially due to habitat destruction, partially due to rollaway monkeys being a popular cheap meat in Ghana's food markets where they are sold after being hunted and killed. Their loud calls and colors, which stand out to the human eye, tend to make them easy targets even for inexperienced hunters. This has resulted in 80% of the population being destroyed in recent years, which is the same percentage of forest land Ghana has lost in a similar time frame. This has led to the Rollaway achieving unfortunate fame as a member of the official list of the world's 25 most endangered primates. Number 7. Nelson's Small-Eared Shrew Back in 2004, a tiny mammal known as Nelson's Small-Eared Shrew came back from the dead, at least as far as human records were concerned. In 1894, a small number of specimens were collected by naturalists Edward Nelson and Edward Goldman on an expedition through Mexico. They were found at an altitude of 5,000 feet on the slopes of a volcano in the region of Veracruz. The whole length, nose to tail, is barely 4 inches, and they have dark brown fur. All information we knew as Nelson brought specimens back to the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. However, that was the last time anyone saw any of these shrews alive until they were rediscovered by researchers in a small patch of Mexican forest, 109 years after their last sighting. It has been assumed they had gone extinct in this time, and although they are alive, there can be no doubt their numbers are few, and so this is a critically endangered shrew. Despite this, they survived a massive eruption of the volcano in 1793, and a century-long disappearing act, so maybe there's hope for this tiny but tenacious shrew yet. Number 6. Northern Bald Ibis The distinctive northern bald ibis, sometimes called the hermit ibis, was once widespread through Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. It has a completely featherless head and face, while its body is covered in glossy black feathers and likes to live on cliff edges cut into mountainsides or along the coast. Its numbers have declined dramatically since the 19th century, and it seems to have been particularly vulnerable to the popular 1950s pesticide DDT, which also caused many defects and death among human beings. Now there are only 700 birds remaining in Morocco, although a group of 10 were found in Syria in 2002. It appears this group has gone extinct ever since. Reintroduction efforts have been launched in Australia, Turkey, Spain, Morocco, and Italy, where semi-wild birds are set free in protected areas, drawn from the captive population, which numbers around 2,000. It takes a few generations for the birds to readapt to the wild, so they must be carefully managed. Luckily for the birds, they were believed to have been one of the first animals to have been released from the Ark by Noah, meaning that those living in Ottoman areas were less likely to be hunted than those in Europe, due to the religious connotation of the birds and the story of Noah in Islam. It was also revered by the ancient Egyptians, although no plans are currently underway to reintroduce them to Egypt. Number 5. Funnel-Eared Bat The Cuban funnel-eared bat was long thought extinct, but finally a living population was found in a single remote cave located on the Guanahacabibes Peninsula in western Cuba. 
These bats are the largest of their genus, all other members of which are now extinct. And they have pretty crazy faces, it must be said. They live in the hot cave and are fairly numerous within it, but nevertheless are considered a species very likely to go extinct due to being restricted to just one single cave. Bats in this region are believed to have evolved to roost in caves due to the frequent hurricane activity in the Caribbean, meaning that cave dwellers stood a much better chance of surviving the destructive weather systems. Their special cave is slowly being destroyed, have not so far been able to slow the destruction of this one lifeline for the incredibly rare funnel-eared bat. Number 4. Ring-tailed Vonsera The ring-tailed Vonsera was once known as the ring-tailed mongoose, until reclassification of this small carnivorous mammal cleared up any confusion which had it placed with mongooses. Still, it is a close relative of the Malagasy mongoose and part of a family of carnivorans who live on the island of Madagascar, known as Euplaridae. In this family are 10 species, all of which are believed to have descended from a single, presumably female and pregnant, individual who rafted over to the big island from Africa something like 24 million years ago. There's no mention of whether the ancient Euplerid used paddles or not. In any case, this small member of the family is well known for its striped red and black tail, which makes it one of the most distinctive of these animals. It is not considered to be threatened in any way, although numbers have been declining, as is the case with many wild animals in recent years. The most famous of this species is the fossa, a much larger predator and closely related to the giant fossa, which went extinct sometime during the Renaissance, probably due to hunting. With luck, this small cousin with its stripy tail won't suffer the same fate. Number 3. Angel Shark the angel sharks are a group of sharks which inhabit sandy seabeds, usually at depths of around 500 feet below the surface of the ocean. The sand. This is where angel sharks live. Previously a very common shark, many of the species are now considered critically endangered due to the massive overfishing of their natural habitats. They are distinct in having flat bodies, a little like rays. They are ambush predators and hide their flat bodies under the sand, waiting for passing prey. And when they catch sight of an appealing fish with their protruding eyes, they use their extendable jaws to make a lightning quick grab and the needle-like teeth finish the job. They are not naturally aggressive, but their proximity to shore, camouflage abilities, and powerful bite when threatened have led them to becoming somewhat feared by coastal divers, reflected in the name of one species, known as the sand devil. Unlike most sharks, the angel sharks can breathe without having to constantly move, as small spiracles behind their eyes help to pump out the water intake something unique to this particular shark. These solitary creatures can live as long as 30 years in the wild, and hopefully new restrictions on destructive fishing will one day come into force, allowing their numbers to be replenished. Number 2. Shoebill the shoebill is a huge, pretty terrifying bird native to tropical East Africa, preferring swampy environments running from South Sudan down as far as Zambia. This extraordinary bird, whose massive beak and enormous size makes the genetic link between birds and dinosaurs seem very real, was known to ancient Egyptians of sub-Saharan Africa, but it was not classified until 1850 by the English ornithologist John Gould, who brought live specimens back to Europe. Since then, its classification status has been controversial, sometimes put with storks and at other times with pelicans, where genetic tests finally proved it does belong. They sometimes use hippos as hunting aids, waiting until the massive beasts sink into water, which throws up fish to the surface, where the shoebill can pick them out. One of the slowest flying birds, they rarely fly more than a few hundred yards at a time, preferring to keep their giant frames on solid ground. In spite of their huge size, growing up to more than five feet, shoebills are quite large. Adults can reach well over a meter in height. And intimidating beak, they are docile and friendly to humans, and are considered one of Africa's big five birds by bird watchers. Humans are much less friendly to shoebills, however, and hunting mixed with habitat destruction has, you guessed it, led to huge population decline and a vulnerable status. Number 1. Ai Ai The Ai Ai is another native of Madagascar, this time a nocturnal primate. 
In fact, it is the world's largest nocturnal primate, and it has some pretty unusual features. First of all, it has large orange-colored eyes, and these are set into a head shaped like a cat's. Its teeth grow perpetually like a rodent, and it also has claws similar to a squirrel, meaning it took some time for scientists to figure out if it was a primate. Seeing as it kind of looks like it has been stuck together from a bunch of random animals, even then, it wasn't really clear what kind of primate it was. The most distinctive feature, however, is an extra-long middle finger on each hand, which it uses to tap on wood, causing insects to try and flee the vibrations, which the I.I.'s specialized ears can hear. They have a special modified finger, so on their hand they have a really long one, which is a little bit like a Swiss Army knife. It then bites a hole in the wood with its incisors, and then uses another specialized finger with a hook nail to pull out and eat, a form of foraging for prey only known in one other species, the striped possum. The Malagasy people call the animal ai, -ai which means no-no, as they traditionally refuse to say the name of this animal, which is said to be evil and magical. If an ai, -ai points its long finger at a person, they are marked for death. This means I.I.s are killed on site by natives, which combined with habitat destruction has seen the I.I. classed as an endangered species. Let's hope we can save it from extinction, even if it does have an evil finger. There were some pretty unbelievable animals in that list, right? Would you have believed any of them if we didn't have the pictures to prove it? Do you think the I.I. is really evil, or is it all made up? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!